together to help people or ease the, their PVC collection process. And now, INEC has thought it wise to devolve the PVC collections, bring it closer to you. And so you don't have any excuse. I hear somebody saying, please leave me with this, your PVC. It, we will not leave you until you go and get your PVC. Mm-hmm. Yeah? It's like when Joseph didn't let that angel go until he blessed him. He, him. he needed to bless him so he could go back to his work. Anyway, um, it, it's so good to have you join us this morning. I mean, happy New Year. I think that's in order. Indeed. Happy New Year to you guys. Yes. Um, I know that INEC is also, I think on the first day, that was um, last week Friday, when they started this ward and registration center round, um, INEC had complained that people still didn't come out as they expected. Um, and, and I guess the idea of taking it to the wards is so people don't say, well, we come to the local government and it's very difficult. Sometimes we leave and we can't get our PVC. But here we are, the people who are still yet to get their PVCs. But let me shock you, Yemi, before you start talking. On Friday, when I had the... Um, the INEC public relations officer on air, somebody called in to say, "Eh, can I register? Can I still register? (laughs) 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 And sincerely, it was shocking for all of us. So we're like, really? She, she had, she had a good laugh just as you did right now. She was like, Wow. These are the okay. Issues. So yes, of course, these are the issues. But this is where I, the, the likes of you know enough is enough comes in. It, it looks like all the education that is out there is still not enough education uh, in terms of civic education and voter education. What's your take on that? I mean, it might not be, but I think it is what it is. So mm-hmm. we are here now. You cannot register. Let's just get that out too late. <laughs> you cannot move your PVC. Mm-hmm. If your PVC is missing, you cannot find it. Mm-hmm. If your you cannot read what is on your PVC. They cannot change it for you. Anyway. So let's just deal with that. Yeah. And I think to be fair, also realizing that most people, some, not most, some people also don't pay attention. Mm-hmm. It's now when they see a candidate that they like. And they're like, oh, okay, I can actually vote for this one. Mm-hmm. And then you realize that you can't register for a PVC. So too late. <laughs> too late. But th- for those of us who can and still have our mm-hmm. PVCs in the custody of INEC, what should we be mm-hmm. doing right now? So INEC has devolved it, as you said, to the ward level, which is to make it closer. So think about it this way. There are 774 local governments and there are about 9,000 wards. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from having to go to 774 places to go to 9,000 places across across the country. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea is that it's easier for you to get to. Mm -hmm. So as you said, they started that on Friday. It's supposed to end on Sunday, but we're pushing them to extend it for another week because in some places they just were not ready. Some cards are not ready. They're still printing cards. We had a Twitter space with uh, someone from INEC Lagos on Sunday, and he said that, and in other states as well, that has also come out. So because INEC is not fully ready, we're asking them to extend it by another week. But in the absence of that, in case they don't listen, we hope they do, but please, and the idea is just, it's closer to you at your ward level, go and get your card. So that's where we are. Okay, so there are some um, issues, hiccups, complaints here and there from people, and that, and that's what we're going to be addressing today. Um, concerns, complaints, um, you know, people asking questions about what they need to do. Um, I remember I was talking to somebody yesterday, and I, the, the person's polling, uh, rather, ward was at Tikota, and the person lives mm-hmm. somewhere around Jakonde. Um, so some, some of these wards can be a, a bit tricky, so far. Um, yeah, very far. Um, but let's start with one of those that um, I have here. Ortega on Twitter says, and his tweet is to INEC saying, I went to my ward, Ekete, yesterday uh, at Udu local government area in Delta State. There was no sign of activity at the town hall, which is supposed to be the venue for the collection of, at the ward level. I asked the people around. Everyone said they have not seen INEC officials not to talk about collecting PVCs. Um, yeah. It- Mm. Yeah, we've had reports of that. I mean, for example, in Edo, they actually didn't go because there was some violence in the area. Mm-hmm. So the what the Edo rec did was moved it back to the local government. So if some wards were problematic, they then said, well, we can't come to the ward. You still have to come back to the local government. Mm-hmm. On Twitter, INEC has shared the different addresses for the different wards. And it's also provided phone numbers for contact officers for those wards. So if you find the number, if you can go there, find your ward, call those numbers, and maybe they can provide information on what is happening, either maybe logistics or whatever it is that they have not shown up. 
But if you do still have a problem and not able to reach anyone, please just use EIA's complaint portal, rsvp.ng backslash complaints, and we will then take it up with INEC and can then provide you with a response. Interesting. Um, Emeka Amuta says, please, in, in a PVC collection center in Inugu, Inugu East local government area, to be precise, we were asked to thumbprint after collecting our PVCs. Is this right? There's a message going around that signifies we voted. Kindly um, confirm or refute this if it's wrong or right. Hmm. You can only vote on a ballot paper. <laughs> ballot papers have not been released. So where they told you to thumbprint, it didn't tell you to thumbprint in front of any party. So it doesn't mean anything in terms of your vote. At the same, by the same token, unless they ask you to thumbprint, let's say Nick had a list of names mm-hmm. or a list of VIN numbers, the number of people that have come mm-hmm. to pick up their cars. Mm-hmm. I'm not quite sure what the situation is in that local government, but I know that INEC is trying to document who has picked up their cards so that they help. it helps with their own records. We had 200 cards, 100 people have come, and this is evidence that they picked up their cards. Mm-hmm. But don't worry, it's not a ballot paper. You did not vote. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lagos, the phone lines are open, by the way. Today, we're taking all your calls, your comments, your questions, your concerns. Feel free. This is all we're doing this hour. So 0700-993-993-993, that's the number, general number to call. But if you're a lady, you can call 01465-7190. You can also follow the conversation on Twitter and um, or use the, the hashtag WhatsApp Lagos, okay? Use the hashtag WhatsApp Lagos. That way we're able to see it. And you can send us a WhatsApp message also if you cannot get across to us on the phones. We're live facebook.com forward slash Nigeria info 99.3. We're also live on YouTube. Go there. Drop your comments be, below the post. We'd like to hear from you. We have some messages on yeah, WhatsApp. Somebody yeah, somebody wants to know um, what the complaint um, email for INEC is. Hmm, well, well, because we're talking to um, enough is enough. They have a portal that you could, you know, send your complaints to, and then they will, you know, send it to INEC. Um, yeah, I mean, that's right. But I can actually find out for those who are more comfortable. I mean, we'd, yeah. so that's why we set it up. But if you want INEC's own, I will be in the post-it off the list collection period. Mm-hmm. So if you can be watching, you may want to be able to register, register in the own database. So if you checked online and you are in INEC's database, INEC has promised that everybody who registered will get their card. Mm-hmm. And we need to hold them to it, to produce mm-hmm. cards for everybody. So I The tell- second thing, while okay. we're, Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. While we're on this, another thing for people to be mindful of is a lot of people, let me not say a lot, for people who double registered. So, i.e., you registered in 2011, 2015, you couldn't find your card, you forgot, you moved, whatever the reason. Or you heard somebody say that INEC cards expire, your PVCs expire. Mm. So, based on that, you now want to register again. It is illegal. You technically should either be fined or be sent to jail. But INEC has said that they're not prosecuting anybody that registered twice. What they will do is they not will, they have deleted your second registration. So the only registration in INEC's database is your first one. So if you lived in Abuja in 2015, and that's where you registered, and then you came to Lagos last year, and you now registered in Lagos again, INEC has deleted your Lagos registration. So if you want to vote, you need to find your way to Abuja. Or wait after the elections, you can now do a transfer. Right? Exactly. (laughs) So vote, if you really want to vote, then you go to Abuja to vote. And then after elections, you can then transfer to Lagos. Great. So for those people, which is why we keep asking people to check that you're in INEX database, you will not, you will, you will not show up in INEX database for Lagos because they deleted it. Mm. So for those who haven't checked, that's why you go to an INEC office thinking that they should have your card and they tell you they can't find your card mm. because you don't exist in Lagos, quote and unquote. I, um, on the first day, that was last week Friday, when I went to one of the um, PVC collection centers just around here, v- Victoria Island 2, that's Kuramu College here just um, on Bishop Abayadeko. Uh, I met a gentleman who had a similar situation who... Um, lost his PVC, his first PVC that he he got. Um, And then so he reported it to INEC and, you know, they asked him to register all over again. But then months later, when he moved homes, he now realized that it was somewhere in his house, so he found it. Hmm. But then he had already done this registration. So um, 
But now, INEC can't even find any of, you know, the registrations, not even the old one, not, not even the new one. And, and yes, so hmm. even the new one, because they had told him that the old card is invalid, obviously, maybe they had deleted, you know, that one. Uh, when he got to the new ward, which is Victoria Island to where we were, Kuram College, they still couldn't find his name on the register. And in cases like that, what exactly do you do? Unfortunately, if if it's not a function of the fact that they couldn't find his card, if he's inside INEX database online, so that's the only place really at this moment that you can check if you're in INEX database is online. Mm. So if you can check online, the website is voters dot inecnigeria.org. I'm sure Marianne has shared that a number of times. <laughs> yes, the website tends to go down. I, I'm guessing maybe because a lot of traffic is mm-hmm. on it. Mm-hmm. But please try maybe maybe early in the morning or late at night. Maybe it would have less traffic. Can you, but call, if you, can can you call it once again? Sure. Voters, as in voter plural, voter plural with an S, mm-hmm. dot inecnigeria.org. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, that- so if you go there and check, if you are in that database, INEC has an obligation to produce a card for you. Mm. Okay. So now, now, now it's up to you, though. For example, if the card is in Abuja and you cannot go to Abuja, then you don't, maybe don't stress about getting the card. Okay. But if the card is where you want and you want to vote, you need your card to vote. Mm-hmm. Listen, read my lips. However, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. because, And I'm saying this because in the past, if you didn't have your card, but you were on INEX database, mm-hmm. INEX used to have a thing called incidence forms. Yeah. So they'll just fill out a form that you are here, you don't have your card, but you are on the register, so you are voting. Mm-hmm. This time around, you, you can be looking at your name and your pretty face <laughs> on the register like this. Mm-hmm. If you do not have a card, sorry. Mm. So that's why I'm emphasizing that mm. story. So this this um this um link that you just called now this uh, site where people can check if they're if they have or they, they deserve to have um a card. You're saying everybody who's registered from even from 11 years ago have that. Okay. Yeah. Right. You will be if you are in that database. The truth of the matter also is that there were challenges with previous registrations. People's data will suddenly just disappear. Mm. Like people find themselves like you would have your slip in your hand Mm -hmm. but there'll be nothing in inex database for you yeah so those that those kind of glitches did happen Mm -hmm. but as long as you are in that database which means that inex has verified that you are a voter they have an obligation to produce a card for you so you can vote Mm. okay all right well we want to go to the phone lines we have just three minutes before we go on our first break this morning so let's just quickly run to the phone lines hello good morning what's up lagos uh, hello, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Good morning. Please turn off your radio. Good morning. Morning. What's up, Lagos? Uh, good morning. How's everything? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from um, Isola, um, Jack on the Gate for Precise, okay. in Isola area. Mm-hmm. I, I, keep on hearing, I keep on hearing that uh, you go to a ward, go to a ward. If you go to this ward here, nothing like uh, I make there. There will not be nobody is there. Everywhere is locked. And I tell you to go to Ejibo, this Ejibo, that. I get, for two days now, I've been going around the whole place. Oh, wow. You go to the, I don't understand what you mean by word. Is is what word place in the very whole place, or what is the word where you're supposed to go? Because I transfer my car to this uh, world at Jack on the Gate, but nothing like any presence is there. Hmm. Ah, okay. So what are you guys okay. saying? Every time I go to work, go to work. Then I net that is there are a lot of people that are not in the world. No, no, I need I net people in any world. Okay, all right. He really okay. is pained because I mean I understand if you have to right. do the whole merry-go-round and there's nothing to show for it. Okay, from what he said, what I think he's saying is that he went to his polling unit. Hmm. Your polling unit is not your ward. No. Okay. So there are, give or take, about 180,000 polling units across the country. There are only about 9,000 wards. Yep. So if people are actually going to their polling units, which is where they would normally vote, there will be nobody there. And this is not INEC's fault. It's not that INEC people didn't show up. They didn't say they were going to be there. So it seems that people are confusing ward with polling units, and they are showing up at their poll. Because your polling unit is closer to you, because that's where you vote on election day. Mm-hmm. So it literally is walking distance. Quote and unquote. Yeah. Um, so if you're listening and you are going to your polling unit, which is where you would show up to vote on election day, INEC is not there and they are not coming there. Yeah. 
And I think INEC has been clear on, you know, going to. And the information is on INEC's um, handles on Twitter and Instagram. There's the B-I-T-L-Y. It's a tiny link right under our INEX um, handle. Once Twitter. you click on their profile, mm. you'd see it on Twitter yeah. or on Instagram. Click on it. It would show you if you're in Etiosa. It would show you the different parts of Etiosa, where the different wards are. Now, you have to see either on your TVC or on your sleep. You, there, there's a code to tell what ward you belong to. Like I said, my ward is um, Victoria Island 2. So I can tell Victoria Island 2 is Karamu College. So you need to find out what your ward is. Go on INEX handle right now on Twitter, most importantly. Click on that link. It'll open whatever part of Lagos you're in. Just identify your ward and then you know exactly where to go to. Not your polling unit. Not your polling no. unit. <laughs> All right. Um, let's quickly but go. Thank you, thank you to the gentleman for calling. It's, it's yeah. helped me make sense. Because I'm wondering why are people saying they're not at the wards? It now makes sense. So polling units, no, they will not be there. Mm. No. Mm. All right, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we still have um, Yemi Adamolek. She is the executive director of Enough is Enough Nigeria. Uh, we're talking PVC collection, so keep your questions and comments. We'll be back after this break. Stay with us. to be delivered mama saves the day lunch is here mom i got some coke too just come and eat joe <laughs> pick up memorable moments because family lunch and an ice cold coke make a recipe for wonder coca-cola real wonder Frosty, my after you now you <laughs> I, don't know. I beg, just start and ride there. I don't get any money at all. I beg, I beg. Ah, Baba, calm down. Now, you are taught one by one. My account number. You want to use and borrow money, Abi? Hey, them right mad I put for my head, I be ask you. Oh, yeah? See the account number. What is it? Yeah! Five million naira! Yeah! Baba! My new name, now Solo Mega. You say we change your life, oh, from Barika to Banana Island with Mega Millions Niger. Most of the biggest losses in the world don't land Niger. Oh. U.S. Power Ball, Mega Millions U.S. Super Ena Lotto, Euro Millions, and many other Obunge lotteries. Oh yeah, visit www.megamillionsniger.com to join the 30 BG gang. This message is brought to you by Mega Millions Niger. Play it. Win it, not for those under 18. Most of our country people, they talk with one voice. Them say, now nah, I show what you bother to move them once as president of Nigeria. For this president election, do bother to move the man where we all know. Now nah, him got you stunned Lagos to the best state for Nigeria. As I show what you go for Lagos, now nah, so him ready to do for the whole country. What I show what you bother to move for president of Nigeria? Kashim Shetima as vice president. Dot APC. Vacations, pay for groceries, appliances, furniture, school fees, and more when you pay in four to six equal installments with Carbon Zero. Go anywhere, shop everywhere, pay with Carbon Zero. Visit zero.getcarbon.co to get started. Carbon Zero, you deserve it. Welcome back to your number one talk, news, and sports station. This is Nigeria in More conversations, more after this. It's Wards of Lagos right here. Yeah. You feel good? Go. So 
watch out Lagos 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are broadcasting live from Itimi and Crescent right here in Victoria Island. My name is Mary Anna. Colin Fugel is here with me. And <laughs> yeah, we know, we know, <laughs> we know. Okay, we're talking PVC collections this morning. And if you haven't collected your PVC, we're here for you. <laughs> we're going to be your town crier till you are tired of us. You now vex. And they say, let me call it this PVC, so they let me rest. Yes, that's what we want. Mm. <laughs> I see him, he's nodding. <laughs> 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 yes, we're going to make sure that we cotter you to you go and get it. Because you see, it's important. And then, you know I, mean? I, I have a conversation I want to have with you. A lot of people just mm. collect this PVC because they, use, they want to use it as something. It means of ID. ID. I, I'm telling that you. That gets to me. Why? Why I go through I all that so trouble? Some people's number one reason why they want to get this thing, not because they want to vote. No, don't worry. Let them just have it. You know, like this person has woken up now and wants to register. It's mm. the, not nothing for him. But this one's going to collect it for ID. It's okay. So <laughs> even if it's the day before election that they suddenly receive light that they want to vote, they will have it. So it's okay. Exactly. I don't worry about those things. <laughs> okay. So we have a lot of questions. Let's uh, get to them. And um, hopefully you're able to assist all of these people because the questions are many. So let's start with the first one. All right. This person says, good morning, what's up, Lagos? My name is Hilary from Stay Larry. Please kindly educate me on this. My friend and I registered on the same day at the same registration center. We both went there on Monday. He was given his own, and I was told that mine is not ready, that I should come back later in the month. Is there a problem with that? Well, it seems odd, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's technology process. It might just have fallen through. Something might have happened. So mm. don't worry. As long as you are, again, I keep saying this, as long as you've checked and you are on INEX data, what would be a problem is if you go to INEX database online and you are not there, mm -hmm. then one would wonder what happened. Mm -hmm. But if you, as long as you're in INEX database online, they owe you a card. So don't worry too yeah. much about that. Maybe your name is with A, he's is with a Z. So <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Process, <laughs> maybe. Okay, let's take the next this one. This one says, good morning. I have my PVC since 2011. Is it still valid? Patrick from Akute. Very valid. And to make yourself feel better or if you want to be sure go to voters.inecnigeria.org you should see yourself there mm. and as long as you're there you can vote yeah you can vote all right next question now this person says i did my transfer from my papa government to Ekpetedu local government i went to collect my pvc at the inec office yaba i was told it wasn't available that's that's about three weeks ago they filled a form that the pvc will be available in two weeks Last Saturday, I went to the ward to try, and I was told it's still under processing. Can INEC tell us where these PVC, when these PVCs will be available? He says he's, he's tired. tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, well tired. You're right. I mean, as as Marianne had said earlier in the morning, earlier when we started, it would be ideal for INEC to be able to send messages and let people know. Unfortunately, they haven't done that. So again, I suggest you go closer to the end of the process. Because by then, they should at least have stopped printing cards. Mm. But again, we will hold their feet to the fire. They've promised that everybody will get a card and we'll make sure they de de they'll deliver on it mm -hmm. to the best of our ability. Okay, okay so says, Madam Yemi, please, for those whose pictures and names are not clear on the PVC, can such cards be reprinted? John Ishogunle Lagos wants to know. They can be, but you needed to have applied for it during the registration process. So if your card is like that now, it should still be fine because there's a chip in the card itself. So even though you can't read what is on it, but as long as the card, you didn't sit on it and break it, mm. then that one is the one that's a problem because they can't read the data. Uh, but as long as they can read the data on it, you're fine. Ah, good, 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 good. All right, let's go to the phone lines. Let's take some calls. Uh, we're still talking PVC collection. 0700-993-993-993. That's 0700 993 We're also on Twitter. You can use the hashtag WhatsApp Lagos. We're talking PVC collections, uh, concerns, comments, and we're live. Facebook.com forward slash Nigeria Info 99.3. And we are also on YouTube, Nigeria Info 99.3. And we would love to hear from you. But back to the phone lines. Hello, good morning. What's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? What's up? Cheers to life. Cheers good, to morning. Life. good morning. What's your name, sir? Where good are you morning. calling from? Good day, Felix. Call okay. All right, Felix, go ahead. This is your thing. I think all these things are scam. Because I can still remember when I was in, was it not just two? There's this woman in our area that here. They do pack us from Lagos State to Ogu State for us to go and register PVC. And then we have to deny our age name for us to. Even in that year, I can. 
Hmm. Felix, are you still there? I, I collected two CVC in a year with different names. So I don't believe all this CVC is, is really real. I think our politicians and the government in power, they really know some things about all these CVCs. Hmm. Ah. Felix, I want you to stay on the line. Did you say, when were you in secondary school? Because I want to be sure the dates now. I was in J2. That year, I can still remember. What the year? Woman in that was um, 2009. Really? The registration for PVCs were in 2011, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What Was it in 2011? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so, how, so how did you? How were you able to register and get a TBC in 2009? There's, there's a woman in our area that was there for us to go and register. Tell us what to do when we get there, so that we we'll use the TBC and vote when it comes to voting a voting time. Hmm. So did you vote? Oh, he's gone. Wow. You see, you see, it, it's okay to have these conversations or come on air and say stuff, but I wanted to be able to understand the date because you said it was in Genesis two. And that was in 2009. But we all registered. I remember. I was a civil servant at the time when I registered for my PVC. And that was in 2011. So, so w- sir, please don't be giving us kind of information here. Thank you and God bless. As much as we know we have concerns about, you know, um, INEC's um, loyalty to the people. People have criticized INEC and some of the positions they've taken. Does not necessarily allow room for us to make some of these spurious allegations. Good morning, what's up, Lagos? Good morning, yes. Yeah, my name is Oscar. Oscar, please turn off your radio or walk away from it. Yes, this is Nigeria Info. All right, my name is Oscar. I'm coming from Osoja's business business port at Igbeliri, Iba town. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, yeah, my issue into the taking and that Nigeria Info now is that now, we are talking about the PVC. Mm-hmm. But now, I want to talk about the PVC harvest. What is going on? Is that a sign of ringy? So, why the PVC harvest is going on is that, that means definitely, definitely sometimes, time to come, they will tell us the, the, the what? The, the divas, the uh, divas, our divas, is not working. Just the same way we've experienced from the past, with the same time with Jonathan. That people, the same thing. Jonathan is the number one president. The son who could deny him. That means the same experience we will have if case is not taken. Our problem is not what we want as a Nigeria. We know what we want. I'm sorry to say what we want is labor. Okay. No, we're not campaigning for anybody. We're talking <laughs> PVC collections. Yeah. Whoever you want to vote for, that's your that's business. That's your problem. Um, but that's a good um, thing you know. Yeah, I mean, this is a very in- interesting conversation because a lot of people have complained. I listened to the Morning Crossfire this morning. And people talked about harvesting their data. Uh, a particular young man called in and said his dad was harvesting data for, um, you know, a certain political party. He went on a holiday and his dad took his PVC and the, he had this, you know, um, exercise book or something where he was taking information from people's um, PVCs. And this is raising a serious concern for many voters. Would you care to address it? See, politicians have... I believe I've been very deliberate about uh, raising doubts and, uh, and suspicion about the process. If, if it's not today, according to the INEC calendar, either sometime this week, INEC will formally present the voters register to every political party. It would have your name. It would have your VIN number. It would have uh, what other data? Yeah, your name, your VIN number, and maybe your, I can believe your picture as well. Mm-hmm. So they're going to get this data from INEC officially. Meanwhile, they're going around taking people's voters' card, copying VIN, copying this, copying that. And the question is, what do you plan to do with it? You're actually going to get it officially. So because they're doing it sort of secretly, everybody is wondering and they're suspicious about what a politician harvesting data, as he calls mm-hmm. it. There's nothing they can do with your data. The only thing a politician can do at the moment is collect your PVC from you. Under whatever, guys. They're collecting it for safekeeping. They pay you money for it. Whatever it is. As long as they have their PVC with them, mm-hmm. you cannot control if they give it back to you by election day. Uh-huh. And without that PVC on election day, you cannot vote. Mm-hmm. So what some politicians are doing very clearly is they're going to areas where they think they might not be popular or people might turn on them eventually mm-hmm. or whatever the reason, reason is. And they're literally giving people money for their cards. Hmm. 
And once they have your card, you can't vote. Hmm. I think just so that's one thing. I think that just about answers um, Etim's input on our WhatsApp because it says Nigeria Info people are just going about in Igbe, Lara, Ikorudu collecting people's PVC details. I witnessed this less than an hour ago today. Yeah. It's well, meaningless, really. But it's making people because we see it a lot on Twitter. People are complaining about it, asking questions. If you copy down my vein, what does that mean? If you took a picture of my card, what does that mean? There's nothing they can do with it. Because literally, INEC is going to give them, if you guys don't forget, last year, when people could go to their polling units and people were noticing underage voters and mm. all of that, they mm. pasted the voters register mm. on the wall. Mm. So there's nothing secret about it. So all this one that they're collecting your data, collecting your data. I'm not quite understanding. What's <laughs> <laughs> I like Unless it. maybe when they get to the polling unit, they'll be checking off. Maybe it's for those who are going to be doing vote buying. Mm, so maybe. they already have, so they will be checking off, okay, we paid this one, we paid yeah, this one, yeah. unless it's for that kind of reason. Okay. Mm. But it's certainly not anything they can do with INEC. Interesting. Well, we'll let, let, let's take a few more calls. Uh, we have about 10 minutes on the clock. Hello, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Hello, my name is Omaomi. Omaomi, please, can you walk away from your radio? Turn it off, please. Yes, I've walked away, I've walked away, very away. Go ahead. <laughs> Please, I went to Abel Kuta spending 6,000 naira from Lagos to Abel Kuta going to come. Hmm. My PZD was not there. Wow. And I was told I should go to Ajumo High School. I went uh-huh. there. My PZC is not there. Hmm. I spent about hmm. 2,000 going three times. Wow. I spent about 9,000 naira on transport. I had their data on my hand. When they typed from their phone, my name come up. But my PVC is not mm. ten thousand naira going up and down sitting wow. for my PVC. Me or me down, I will place it everywhere all over Nigeria. I will place it, I will place it the wahala I have made, the wahala I have done. Now they took my data and they wrote my name that they will call me. If they don't call me, I will shout to America Embassy. I will shout and I will shout, I will shout, I will, shout, I, will shout, I, will shout I will go and run all over the world. Okay. And even after the after the election, I will shout all over Nigeria. Let them give me my ten thousand naira for for making my wahala. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for calling. I like I like the lady that just spoke. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you said that. At least they showed you that you are in their database. Mm. They just don't have your card, right? So all we're trying to solve now is that they should print the card for you. And I'll reiterate this. INEC owes everybody a card. And EIE is committing to working with everybody to ensure that you get your card as much as we can. So please, I would encourage you, put in our portal, rsvp.ng backslash complaint. Just say you spoke on Nigeria Info and they can't find your card. And we will track it. So that mm. I would love to be able to come back. And have you on air saying, I have got my card, oh, exactly. rather than you shout to the American embassy after elections. We need, to, <laughs> okay. we need to get you a card. Okay. Um, hello, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Yeah, uh, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Good morning. What's yeah, your name? Good. Where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Babaji. I'm calling from Badagri area this morning. All right, go ahead, please. Uh, I greet your guest there. Uh, I believe, uh, Madam, uh, I'm neck official. I don't know really. But let me, I listened to your program this morning. How many people called in, even tech experts. I don't know what gives the confidence that I need. People work in your staff. Don't you think some people can bribe your staff? Because I need is a body. Okay. But there are some bad eggs among. What about if they upload, like the number they are collecting from this uh, PVC? A situation whereby they clone it and another person voted with it. I'm not saying that it's coming from INEC body. <laughs> what about some people walking there, and at okay. the end of the day, you carry that your card, it becomes empty. You wanted to vote. You say they voted for this card. What do you do? That is what I'm trying to say, because okay. like what Fela said, he said uniform, na cloth, na man swam. All the technology, people put it there. So there are people that can be able, politicians, you know, give money, and at the end of the day, they will do something funny. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for calling. So, um, <laughs> cloning of cards. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, th- I think we do. Answer. I think we do. It's I, valid. Yeah, it's valid. But, but the beavers still have to identify you as the card user. Exactly. 
That's all I was going to say. So they can clone your details and produce a card, but your fingerprints are not on it, and neither is your face as a picture. Mm -hmm. And also the law makes it very clear, which is also an improvement from previous elections, <clears throat> from the Electoral Act last year. The law has made it very clear that you need to be authenticated electronically, mm -hmm. i.e. either by your fingerprints or by facial recognition. Yeah. So if someone always needed the credit card with all of that, they do your fingerprints, know your face. So, yeah, so that answers it. We have messages on Facebook. I want to quickly read them. Um, Basil um, Onyejaku says, You, um, okay, well, let, he's, I guess he's answering somebody, but Eze Chibike says, People in Ikosi Ike, uh, in K2 should go to Ikosi High School, Ikosi Road. Um, he says he collected his PVC there on Monday. Uh, Kobe says, I accompanied my wife to pick up her PVC at Iba Axis. Um, LA Primary School um, on Sunday. The body language of the officials there is not encouraging as they were not giving people their cards. For two days, she went there uh, and they told her her card was not found. I had not... Okay, I had to contact the INEC commissioner who instructed them to bring out my wife's card. Some cards they told her... Or same card, I mean, I beg your pardon. They told her on Monday was not found. They're doing these things deliberately. Hmm. Hmm. That's a very interesting one, especially yeah. the caveat to put at the end that yeah. the person yeah. were instructed yeah. to bring out the car. Yeah. Very interesting. Now, since you contacted the INEC commissioner and they instructed them to bring out the card, then I would certainly say that INEC has a duty to inspect what is going on at that particular location. Could you repeat the location? I, I, well, I'll take it from you offline, and then so I can I can write down the details. Well, that that is very interesting. Okay. If cards that exist and INEC officials are saying that they don't. And why I'm saying this is that we need to, one of the things that INEC keeps saying is that there are a lot of complaints, but okay. quite a number of the complaints are general. Yeah. There was people who say that we hear that, they are, we hear that, they said that. So because we now have a specific location with a specific incident where someone had to call to instruct an INEC official to bring our cards, It'll be interesting to see what INEC does because mm. if their staff are deliberately doing that and they need to, we need to ensure that they've taken action. Why, what is the reason why the card was not available on Monday, mm. but it's suddenly available when they got a call? Yeah, the, because I mean, it, it's a cause for concern if somebody's saying I had to call somebody. And if what if, yeah. I mean, not all of us have the INEC commissioner's contact, so what do we do at, the, at that point? Yeah. Adewale Jalasso here says, I applied for a replacement of my PVC uh, because the old one is bad and because I changed my residence. Um, I, my new place is somewhere in Chuku, Chukuku, Kuje FCT. Where do I pick my PVC? <laughs> Adewale, I think that um, you need to go online. You need to go to Abuja. No, you need to go to Abuja. Because you transferred it to Abuja, FCT, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you transferred it to where you plan to vote. Your card will be where you plan to vote. Exactly. Which will be In Kuje. Yeah. But Marianne actually had a really good point, though. Verify from voters.inecnigeria.org so you can actually see yourself that mm. this is where you are um, assigned to vote. Yeah, for those who are asking, because I see a lot of those the same questions here on Facebook. Um, so click UTIS, Desmond, Emmanuel. Uh, just go to voters.inecnigeria.org. I'll take it again, voters.inecnigeria.org. Just go there and, and find out because all of your information will be there. If your information is not there, then we have a problem. Then you're not registered to vote. But if you find your information there, then you can find your information about your ward and, of course, your polling unit. Um, well, we have just about five more minutes on the clock, so let's see if we can take one or two more calls. Hello, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Uh, my name is Chile from First Start. My only problem with my PVC is that I was referred as female that, um, okay. than instead of male. Hey, is, there any problem if I, is there any problem if I go to vote? Hmm. Yeah, well, you can't because your, that, that would picture, amount to impersonation. Your picture, <laughs> your picture shows clearly you're a man, right? It says, the picture you don't have braids or long hair in your picture, do you? Okay, okay. Thank you. Can you hear me? Don't go anywhere. Wait first. The picture on your PVC, is it your face that is there? Is it clear? Yes, everything is there. Put my, my, 
that is in date and everything. So, but it shows that you're a man in the f- passport, not a woman. You don't have hair, no weaving, nothing. No, 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 no. Okay. I that I was in the yeah. the old gender female. Ah, uh, it's it's, it's, it's fine. It will be obvious that they made the they mistake because the they're looking at the photo. Yeah. And they said yeah. you are so don't worry. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much for calling. We'll take uh, another call quickly. Hello, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Moses. Moses, go ahead, please. I am your first time. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm your first time uh, caller. Oh, your first time caller. Oh, great, 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 great. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead, please. Yeah. I also report uh, uh, my own PVC case. I have registered my PVC, I, I, and I have uh, all the information regarding my both my VIM number and the rest. But I went to Sululeri, local government area, to ask for my PVC. Reaching down there, they were telling me that they can't find my card. But uh, I have all the inf- information that uh, okay. I printed online, that, that every process has been completed. But see, I can lay hand on my PVC. So it is really, really giving me concern. And I want to vote. Okay. So, so I don't know Did what they to give you a form to fill? Did they give you a form to fill? No. The one I printed online, I took it there. Okay. And they search on my PVC. They say... No, I know. But after PVC they said they couldn't already. find it. I know. After they said they couldn't find it, what did they do? The process is they're supposed to give you a form to fill to indicate that someone who is in their database does not have a card. So they can reprint your card. So did they give you a form to fill? Like an it's called an incident form. Yes. Oh, okay, so that's it now. So they've gotten down your details that they don't have your card. And what that form does is that it instructs they send it to headquarters to reprint your card. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think so go can... closer to the end of the voter of the PVC pickup exercise and your card should be there. Thank you very much. I'm sure that you got something. Um, before we wrap up, because we're almost out of time, um, quickly. So there is a way that people can come through I, um, EIE um, to get to INEC because you said you, you started that platform so that because, I mean, because a lot of people were not getting responses from INEC and we know that INEC has its hands full right now. Um, what's that platform again and how do we get on it? So quickly, let me just do it this way. Verify that you're in INEC's database if you are we can't find your card, we can't find your card, voters.inecnigeria.org. Okay. If you are there and they say they can't find your card, they'll give you an incident form to, to fill so they can reproduce your card. If you are still having challenges, please go to our website, rsvp.ng backslash complaints and fill in there and we will follow up with you. You either get a call from one of my team members or get an email and we'll try to solve the problem. Okay. And um, for those of you who want to get access to your information, don't forget, you can go to the website, okay, voters.inecnigeria.org. That's V-O-T-E-R-S dot inecnigeria.org. All the information you need on your ward, your polling unit, everything is right there. So that way, you know where to vote, you know where to pick up your PVC and um, all these complaints must have been reduced to a certain limit. Um, but Yemi, always a pleasure to have you on the show. We will be back again next week, Wednesday, shouting and talking about <laughs> the same thing until we irritate people to go and get their PVCs. Yeah, sure. uh, yeah. and for those who do not know, uh, Yemi is the executive director of um, Enough is Enough Nigeria, and you guys are doing a great work. Keep up the good work. Um, we know that you don't sleep even after the elections. Um, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right. Thank you so much. And that's it, Lagos. Uh, We will go on a quick break to bring you the news at the top of the hour. But before we do that, I will be saying my goodbyes. Not now. When we come back. (laughs) 